Well, to speak more about recycling and extracting valuable minerals from our trash, we're joined by recycling expert Susanna Rotta, a professor at the Technical University here in Berlin. Thanks for joining us. Well, as we just saw in that report, uh, extracting this material uh, is a somewhat tedious process and it requires a lot of time and technology. Is it even worth it? I think it's worse because in cars, for example, in other products, we are using more and more valuable uh, substances which are worth recovering because the primary mining has much bigger impact than the recycling. Well, which items are the most valuable in terms of recycling? In the moment it's very much driven by metals. Metals have a very high or many metals and specifically the trace metals, scarce metals like gold and palladium and, and many others. <laughs> Now, lots of our garbage, like washing machines, cell phones, uh, even old cars, is sent to developing countries to be disposed of. Aren't there a lot of valuable minerals that are being lost in the process then? Yeah, these export, actually most of them are not exported as waste to be recycled there, but they are exported as second-hand goods, so they use, uh, they're longer used. and. Um, but it's a loss for the recycling industry because there you barely have any recycling networks that are then collecting the waste back. Now you just came back from India. What can you tell us about recycling practices there? For specifically electronics and also cars and ships, they have a very developed the recycling sector in terms of extent. So, and it's mainly informal activities that are going on. So, under not very nice conditions, very severe environmental and health impacts, they are recovering part of the valuable materials, and it's a big problem in India. Well, let's talk about the environmental impact for a moment, because a lot of the trash there is 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 burned, including um, rubbers and other materials that cause uh, or can cause serious environmental damage. Um, are people there really aware of that aspect of recycling? Specifically in India, there are a number of NGOs really pushing that issue. And I think the awareness is there, but the incentives, the financial incentive to do this type of recycling, because that is where they live from, is so big that it's nevertheless done. Now, here in Germany, each person produces approximately 450 kilos of garbage a year. In the United States, uh, we're at about 710 kilos per person. What's the best way to deal with all of this garbage? I think recycling is one way to deal with it, to take the valuables back. But nevertheless, we also have to think of specifically, if we talked about developing countries, how to assure really a safe dealing with waste and there you have maybe to go back to much simpler technologies that the that you deal with a hazardous potential in the waste. All right, just briefly because we're running out of time here, what can manufacturers do to help? The manufacturers, I think they should really take the responsibility for their products that you can do for electronics and for cars and, and, and for packaging waste, but there are also limitations what manufacturers can do. All right, Susanna Rota, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.